hey girl hey welcome back to my channel it's your girl misha thank you guys for joining me yet again for another review we are back with a brand new review for tyler perry sisters season six episode 18 if you are new here then welcome i give lighthearted reviews with a little bit of laughter and a little bit of shade and a whole lot of detail if you're back for a second or third time then welcome back y'all please don't hesitate to like comment and subscribe to the channel share with a friend hit that notification bell so that you will be updated each and every time i upload a video now y'all let's get into it if we gonna get into it previously on tyler perry's sisters Danny decides to go on yet another so-called chaperone date with andy and this man from the van Bio done lost his damn mind and cussed out Sabrina and Andy is reintroduced to an old friend. So when the episode first opens up, they're at Jordan's house in the backyard. And so Gary is talking about some, um, uh, have I met you? Have we met? Andrea said, of course we've met. Gary said, I don't think so. <laughs> Baby, Gary said, I don't think so. So he starts acting like Andy does not even exist, honey. He, acts, he is acting like he never knew an Andrea Barnes. So he was trying to hightail it out of there, y'all. When he saw Andy, he was ready to go. So Jordan, who was her date, he's like, so no, you can't go. My sister is on the way. Now, when he said my sister is on the way, what I assumed is that all the three girls were there. They all friends. And then the sister was coming for Gary because there was not a fourth friend. That is what I was assuming because remember Danny asked Tony to find someone for Karen when Karen need to be sitting down with her feet up and getting a belly here sometime a day, honey, some, someday. That is what I initially thought, but y'all listen to this. Cause when I tell y'all this episode was good to me, now Tyler don't normally get me, but baby, this episode had my mouth open, honey. Cause I did not expect it. Do y'all hear me? So Gary was like, well, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and make a phone call and I'll be right back. Nah, scary Gary. Stay a while. <laughs> Stay a while. You were perfectly fine a minute ago. So at the table, Sabrina looks over and she notices that Gary is there. And so she taps Danny on the leg like, girl, look at Gary. Girl, he over there. So the guys are like, oh, y'all know Gary. And yeah, they know him. That's their brother-in-law. <laughs> Baby, that's their brother-in-law. So they want to know how they know Gary. Sabrina's like, yeah, we just know him from around the way. So Danny wanted to get up and speak because, sir, what are you doing here? Let's really get to the bottom of it. He already knowing how Danny act. So as soon as she walked up, he almost peed on himself. When I tell y'all, I was in here hollering. I was cackling throughout. And mind y'all, I watched this real late at night yesterday. I mean, I was in here hollering. The way Andy was staring at him, y'all, if looks could kill her. The way that she was looking at him. See, this is what Tyler get on my nerves though. Because in real life, Jordan would be asking questions. He's just standing there looking back and forth between Andy and Gary. Uh, what's going on? Uh, uh, do you guys know? Uh, uh, you can feel awkward energy. I would have been like, why is she saying she know you if she don't know you? And why are you acting like you don't know her? And I know you and I know that you know her. And what is going on? And how do they know you? But she doesn't know you and they girls. What is happening? I will be asking all the questions. So as soon as Danny rolled up, Gary runs off and Jordan goes behind him. So the sisters go off to the side and they're trying to figure out what the hell is Gary doing here? Why is he acting strange? Because he is strange. Okay. He's all, he always has been. He's a strange character. So Andy is like, girl, just let him go. Let him go. He's being weird. I mean, he is giving very much little weirdo energy. So Danny goes, no, let's get the tea. So baby, she goes outside and she's summoning Gary. And she's like, Gary, come here, bruh. Let's talk to you. We just want to talk to you. Come on inside. Come on, let's talk to you. So when she tells Gary that, everybody comes inside. What are y'all doing here? She said, Gary. How are we going to get the tea, Jordan, if you right there? Gary steady acting like he got to go to work. Nah, bruh, you were free about 10 minutes before you saw Andy. So stay free. Okay, stay free. So as they're standing inside, in walks Jordan's pregnant sister, Penelope. Baby P is in the house. The way I sat straight up in my bed, because I already knew it was about to go down. I said, baby, now she pregnant. So Danny looks at the girl and she says, congrats. She said, yeah, it's our first one. Andy said, our, our, our who? Baby, it is her and Gary's first baby. I 
couldn't get y'all on the line quick enough. Cause what in the hell? I could not get over here to do this review quick enough. Do y'all hear me? I have been taking all the medicine that I can take so that I can feel better. So I can come talk to y'all about sisters. And I ain't never thought I would have to hear from rush on this line and talk about sisters. But baby, when that woman said, this is our first ma'am, Gary got a whole other set of kids and an Andy. Baby, this is a fool. Now that cop, y'all remember that cop, Leslie? She tried to tell Andy that cop that had that bad Shamar Moore wig. You remember that Shamar Moore wig that Tyler Perry put on him in that movie? That lady right there. (laughs) I was trying to keep it together. That lady right there. She tried to tell Andrea about Gary right after he got shot with those rubber bullets. How you get them is how you lose them. I don't feel bad for Andy. I am sorry, y'all. I don't feel bad for Andy because she knew. She knew what was going on. But she tried to act like, you know... Gary would never, girl, please. But get this, y'all. That's her fiance. And they've been together for three years. I was just too out done. When I say I was too out done, Gary is the worst kind of trifling man. Really, Gary? Now, I knew he was low, okay? And I already knew he was the scum of the earth when he tried to crush her ribs. And y'all know I ain't gonna never forget. And don't think I forgot. But when I heard that not only was she pregnant, but she's also the financier, Oh, baby, he was with her and Andy at the same damn time. He was with both of them at the same time. But the crazy thing is, she's telling Andy how much her brother likes her. He ain't the only one. (laughs) Your fiance like her as well. So then Gary comes sashaying in, not getting too close. Talking about, hey, how you doing? (laughs) No, 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 no. Gary, come closer, bro. Greet your fiance. Okay, come closer, you little bozo. Greet your pregnant fiance. My knees would have collapsed. If I were Andy, baby, when I tell y'all them knees would have buckled and I would have fell to the floor because, baby, it, 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 I can't take too much. Okay, everybody knows that I cannot take too much. Some people don't even tell me things because they know that I cannot take too much the way in which I would have hit that floor. Boom, 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 boom. Baby, I would have been down for the count. And to see, this is why I was telling you through these reviews, girl, to let old Rockhead Gary go. I mean, the way the man cheated on his wife with you, you can't be too mad. It's his M.O. Like, that's just what he does. Not to mention, he tried to crush your damn ribs. And then he took you out into the middle of nowhere only to get arrested for his shady dealings. And you had to find a way home. I don't even think you had a cell phone. You remember that? Girl, this is too much to be going through with this man. So everything is awkward AF. Everybody just looking. Uh, Sabrina, you look cute in your little two-piece, girl. I like that. So everybody just looking all crazy and whatnot. Gary is like, yeah, you know what? We're going to go ahead and get on out of here. Here go, Penelope. You need a cuddle. Come in. You need a cuddle. Baby, not a cuddle. Mm-hmm. She said, you know, he just works all the time and he travels and I barely get to see him. Do y'all see how diabolical Gary's character is? And the crazy part about this is, baby, it be happening every day, be in real life. I have had some Gary activity to happen to me. And what I always say is a man like Gary will hide you out in the open. And what that means is he will walk around with you acting like he ain't cheating on you. And you will be right in the presence of the other woman hiding your ass out in the open. Baby, this is crazy. So anywho, his character is diabolical. He has been stalking and spying on Andy with old low down good for nothing hating and then had enough nerve to get mad at her being with rock and robin whole time he got a fiance for three years but this is what i'm trying to figure out y'all how was he living with andy was this on one of his trips is this why she never gets to see him like what is happening so during the time that he was with the wife ma'am have you ever been to a place and he said it was his child don't let me find out he had been in andy's house Mm, mm, mm. and why was he going to the sex therapist because it seems to me that he ain't got no issue in that department got a whole baby so she brings up the food saying it smells good and she's like you know i hope you put enough pepper because me and gary we love spicy food and the baby is too sabrina said oh spicy baby (laughs) baby this was good to me oh honey this was good to me so she goes to sit on the couch andy is like I want to go okay I want to go Danny said no girl we need to tell her 
We're not going, okay? I don't give a damn. I'm telling her. And that's just that on that. Andy said, no, I mean, look at her. She's so happy. She's pregnant. Now, although you hate to upset a pregnant woman, because I mean, it's bad karma. I got to side with Danny on this one. Don't let him get off scot-free. If it were you, he would definitely put you on blast. So you need to think about what Gary would do. WWGD, what would Gary do? Moving forward. In the next scene, the contractor stopped by Karen's to give her the numbers for her shop being renovated. Sir, don't you have seven kids and a wife? Don't you got to get home to get your vittles and eat with your family? Why are you making house calls? Child, I ain't trust that. Not Jason Weaver coming in with the creep squad mentality. I don't trust it. He's sitting down looking her all upside a wig. He said he gave her the best numbers that he could give her. She was like, that's so, I trust you. I trust you. He said it's going to take about five months. She was like, five months? He said that was the fastest that they could do. The way Karen was grabbing that Bally Dale stomach. I said, girl, not you grabbing that Bally Dale. <laughs> they need to give her one of them prosthetics they got on Penelope. Give her a Penelope prosthetic belly. Because, baby, she is growing and showing. Moving forward. They let any old body in their house, though, y'all. Tyler, stop writing them people to come to these women's homes. They let anybody in the house. He talking about, if you need some baby clothes, me and my wife, we got you. Child, I'm surprised Aaron didn't pop up. He must be getting ready to be written out. Because remember what I told y'all two episodes ago. Now, I didn't give y'all last week because they came on the day before Thanksgiving. And honey, I had to prep and whatnot, so it was a no. And you knew I knew they was going to be in the same place this episode. But baby, I ain't know it was going to go down like this. So the contractor leaves. She calls Pam to ask her to go to the beauty supply store. I need you to go to the house store. You know, Karen always got to give her a hard time. And that's just that on that. In the next scene, Calvin and Maurice are having some banter. You know how they like to do. Baby, really and truly, I just wanted to get back to the dinner party full of cheetahs. I didn't care what nobody else was doing this episode. Not even Fatima and Zach. And I love me some Zatima. But baby, take me back to the dinner party full of cheaters. Danny is there cheating on Preston. Gary cheating on all of the greater Atlanta area. And Sabrina cheated jail time. Baby, it's... <laughs> It is the it is the dinner party of cheetahs. Do you hear me? So Maurice is basically telling him he going down to the gay bar. Calvin is like, I'm going to ride out with you. Maurice trying to celebrate his freedom, honey. And he does not want Calvin cramping his style. I was like, not y'all having on matching faux leather pants. Moving forward. Over on the other side, Zach and Fatima, they're trying to go check on his son. So Fatima suggests they just go check on him. Let's just go up there and check on him. So then the nosy neighbor, Heather B, she outside looking around and she tells them that the baby isn't in there. They've been gone all day. She said, I hope they went to the hospital because that baby was crying and limping around. So Fatima asked if anybody else was in there. So she gonna look at Zach and say, you know what? Thanks to you, nobody's been in there because me and used to run in and out of there all night. Uh, No, ma'am, correction. Not thanks to Zach. Thanks to Big Tima and the madam. That's why people not running in and out of there. That's what it is. So they getting ready to leave. And she was like, I got your number for Tima. I'm going to call you. If I see something, I'm going to say something. So then Zach tried to hand her a stack, but it kind of insulted her a little bit. Cause she was like, you think I need your money? You think I'm doing this? Cause I need your money, ma'am. That's not what he's saying. What he's saying is take this for your troubles. So they trying to apologize. And Fatima's like, he did not mean to insult you. After they apologized to her, she was like, all right, on second thought, I'll take it. Rex on, Rex on, Rex, Rex. <laughs> Girl, goodbye, good night. Just take the blessing and go on, honey, in your robe and whatnot. In the next scene, Karen is at the house playing Zen Karen. Girl, please. Sitting there with her hands on her stomach watching some kind of YouTube video. I don't know what's going on. So Pam calls and tells her, Girl, I got everything that you asked me for. So Karen tells her, Girl, look, I got an idea. The shop going to be down for about five months. The contractor brought over the numbers. They look, they don't look too bad, but I think I'm going to be able to do half from the house. Pam is like, girl, you know, they'll come to a kitchen beautician. Okay. It's cool. We'll do anything to get our hair did. So it's fine. So then she told Pam, you know what? You can come work for me part-time. Pam said part-time. Now, Pam, you need to file for unemployment. Now, I don't know if you're going to get it, honey, because she ain't even got insurance, but that's neither here nor there. That's just a side note. But part-time, does she look like a high school kid? girl what so she's asking if karen wanted all those people in the house she does not want them in there but she ain't got no choice i hope karen get her some insurance with that money because that was just irresponsible she wants pam to call her clients and pam wants her to call aaron to come help 
Karen don't want to call Aaron because he's going to get the wrong idea and think they starting up something and ain't starting up nothing. Honey, you got that right. Moving forward. In the next scene, Zach and Fatima come from the precinct and they ain't got no answers. They went down to the county, didn't get nothing. So they're sitting in the car, they talking. Zach is beating himself up, trying to figure out why does Fatima love him? Why are you dealing with all this? What's going on? I don't even think the baby is his, but that's just me. So she's telling him, we all make mistakes. And he was like, not like me. She tells him when she was in high school, she got pregnant at 17. It was this dude in the neighborhood. Her parents told her don't mess with and she messed with him and messed with him too hard. And she got pregnant and her parents were really strict. So one day her gym teacher noticed something and called her mama and told her mama to take her to the doctor. Lo and behold, she ended up being pregnant, but she ended up losing the baby. Now, I'm happy that we are getting more of Fatima's backstory because we don't really know much about her. I would like for you to usher in her parents next season, uh, Tyler. I know you have new writers. So writers, if you're listening to us, please usher in Fatima's parents. I want to see where she comes from. I think it's good stock, but a little, but half of them a little shady. Okay, shout out to the madam. So she was just basically telling him, I can't judge you. I got my own past. She said, you know, God knew best. And that's why I didn't end up having a baby. But she did say that she cannot wait to have his baby. I said, let us get some tests first. Okay. Because Karen a little iffy as well. And I don't think that stripper is um is telling the truth at all. I think she just wants a payday. This was such a sweet little talk they had. But you know, they're going to get into it and be all sentimental. When is Fatima going to be pregnant on here though? The timelines are not timelining. Because on Zatima, we know that she's pregnant. But on here, she's not. So I'm trying to figure out how the two you know coexist back at the kickback penelope over there bragging on her fiance danny eating these chips when i tell y'all danny eating them chips had me hollering i said oh girl pass me the bowl pass me the bowl. <laughs> my nerves was bad honey i had to go get a snack y'all but this is what i'm trying to figure out i'm trying to figure out how was gary gonna explain him being married to andy when he tried to trick her into marrying him at that makeshift photo shoot y'all remember that I just got so many questions. Andy, I do have something to say to you. You owe Karen an apology and you owe her a thank you because she was the only one with some sense that talked you out of marrying Gary down at that photo shoot. You owe her an apology. So Penelope is singing scary Gary's praises and she was like, girl, he bought me an apartment and a car. Oh, baby, Gary on his Oprah and you get a car and you get a car and you get a car. So Andy is sitting over there sick. I'm talking about when she said that she got a car in her apartment and it dug her hand in that chip bowl and ate every lace because you know you can't just eat just one and baby when I tell you she was like oh my gosh I gotta get up out of here so then she starts showing him her dress it's vintage Danny said well um did you get a Rolls Royce she said no no flash for me I just think it's tacky to have that kind of car and people are struggling to pay their bills so she said, you know, people out like that are just looking for attention. Sabrina said, I get that. Danny said, Andy, do you get that? <laughs> she said, we're just messing with Andy because she has a Rolls Royce. Penelope was like, oh, girl, my bad. I know you're not that kind of person. I don't think you're that type of girl. Danny said, no, a nice man bought it for her. Now, when she said that, I also thought, I thought Andy gave that car back. Didn't her and Karen get in the car and then the singing telegram men acting like Backstreet Boys came and sung that little jingle and it was awful, but Andy loved it, but she gave the car back. Is it me? She said, oh girl, you have a Gary too? And do. <laughs> and do. Y'all share a Gary to be exact. So Penelope is telling Andy that her brother is a catch just like their dad. Plus he's faithful. She was like, cause I could never be with an unfaithful man. Girl. <laughs> life comes at you fast okay that's like those women that say oh my man would never cheat on me oh yeah he know what it is my man would never cheat whole time he can and he did so danny is itching to tell her she was like oh i can't hold it in much longer penelope is like what's going on what's wrong with you so they trying to play it off by saying that danny can't hold her liquor so she shouldn't be drinking so everybody looking around and she's just like are you good now, they lasted longer than me because I would have been blurted it out. I would have said, girl, he is talking to my homegirl too. Andy, come here, girl, and tell her what's going on and give her a whole lot of detail. Baby, I would have told everything. So then the guys come over like, what's going on over here? What are y'all talking about? Penelope said, oh, nothing. Just talking about my baby Gary. Sabrina and Danny talking about, come on, baby Gary. Yeah, baby Gary. <laughs> 
<laughs> Look, the whole time they were saying that, y'all, I don't know why this was playing in my head. That's just my baby daddy. Mm, that's just my baby daddy. That's just my baby daddy, boy. That's just my baby daddy. I do not know why that song was playing in my head. I guess because she was pregnant and she kept calling him her baby. Anyway, y'all, my brain works in mysterious ways. Whole time, Andy is staring a hole through Gary. When I say a hole to penetrate his soul, so then Tony pulls Danny to the side to dance. Um, Daniela, take your tail home to Cowboy with them little ugly pink shoes on. You are really in here cheating with Macaroni Tony. Baby, you need to head to the house. Preston is at the house. So now everybody's slow dancing and whatnot. Andy got an attitude. Girl, you the one put yourself in this predicament. This is so weird. Gary's staring at, staring at Andy. Andy is staring at Jordan. Jordan is oblivious. Penelope don't know what's going on. At the end of the day, Andy's still going to mess with Gary. Y'all mark my words at the end of the day. Because if a whole wife and children didn't stop her, this lady right here ain't going to stop her. And she really didn't want to tell the woman because she wants to make sure that she does not upset Gary. And she ain't fooling me. Okay? She ain't fooling me. So now everybody is running out because the food is burning. So everybody runs out of the room except the sisters. Andy is trying to escape. Tell my, let's go. Danny, get your ass out of here now. Let's go. She doesn't have a clue. I mean, she's adorable. She's pregnant. She's perfect. Like, I just can't do that to another black woman. Andy, please. You're just cowardly. Okay? And since when are you worried about another black woman? Wasn't his wife black? Girl, anyway, Jasmine tried to tell you right before she shot him up with them rubber bullets. She tried to tell you. Danny said, no, nah, because all I hear, okay, you can't tell that kind of stuff to me. All I hear is he messed over two black women. And I'm telling, okay, she has a right to know before she has his fucking baby. And also, he needs to have his spot blown up. I'm with Danny. Blow up the spot. Blow it up. Throw in the grenade and blow it the hell up. She deserves to know and he deserves to be exposed. But, uh, Danny, Preston deserves to know as well. Should I DM him or how should I contact him? <laughs> How should I contact him, girl? How? So as they're talking, she walks up and she overhears them. And that was the end of the episode, baby. Next episode, y'all. I can't wait to see next episode. This gonna be good to me. This was so good, y'all. This was so good. If y'all didn't watch this episode, I know normally, you know, Tyler be taking us here, there, and everywhere, but we don't be going really no damn well. This episode really took us through some things. This is one of the best episodes he's had in a few seasons. And I want y'all to go watch it. But not before y'all watch this review. Y'all comment down below and tell me exactly what you thought about this episode. What did you think about Gary having a whole nother family? It was kind of shocking, but not really. I don't know, honey. My mouth was wide open. We could have left everything else out and had the entire episode at the dinner party full of cheetahs. Y'all let me know something. Please don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, stay safe, stay blessed, spread love, not germs. Peace.